Alright guys, Ted Grubby back again today. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday so far. Today is Championship Sunday of the CDL Playoffs for the World Championship Championship Weekend that goes on August 29th to August 30th. The final four teams will be determined today. Atlanta Phase, Dallas Empire already guaranteed top three, but six more teams are going to be battling out for the final two remaining places today. Intrigued to hear your thoughts on how exactly it's going to go down in the comment section below. These matches, in my opinion, are very, very difficult to call indeed. Could be many game fives, could be a lot of late light for me. We'll just have to see how it goes like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you are new as always i would greatly appreciate it the subscriber account has been absolutely rocketing up lately we just love to see it cod champs baby wanted to talk about this from crim6 as well just before we get into things then ggs toronto moving on to next week glad we could step up despite all the bs we dealt with before the series i just mentioned this last night and then crim6 comes and clarifies this a little bit more couldn't have three people on the same line at the envy headquarters in the lobby at the same time on three out of five available servers tried everything to be able to join two hours worth and ended up having to pack up everything, head home and reset up everything. 15 minute drive match start was in 25 minutes. However, I did it in seven, eight minutes thanks to Porsche. Uh, so pretty funny. Interesting. Haven't heard this issue really cropping up lately. Of course, you remember that last series against Toronto was delayed quite significantly. Of course, it was pre-recorded. So why would it need to be delayed? Maybe it was delayed so long that um, in fact, it wasn't actually too far behind the time that we were thinking it was. So that's another benefit, I suppose, of pre-recording matches. When things like this happen, it's not an absolute disaster. Um, but yeah, still pretty interesting. Haven't heard this happened before see if it, it affects uh, Dallas again in the future but I imagine they'll get these things sorted out of course not ideal for them they didn't have the best start to the series finished very strong in that one though yesterday against Toronto and Toronto will be playing either of the New York Subliners versus the London Royal Ravens and I suppose we should have a look at that these are the matches for tonight 1 p.m eastern 6 p.m British summertime 10 a.m pacific time Subliners versus Royal Ravens kicks off then we have Mutineers Opsi Gaming Los Angeles the winner of the first series plays Toronto Ultra to qualify the winner of the second series plays plays the Chicago Huntsman to qualify and then the winner of, uh, well, the winner of those two matches or the winner of the winners, I suppose, then goes on to face the loser of Atlanta Phase, Dallas Empire. We'll have a look at how the bracket works in just a second. Let's go through these series then one by one, starting with Subliners Ravens. This is an interesting one to me and it, I mean a couple of times these have gone back and forth as you can see right here on the um, the Gamepedia page. Let me just make sure that fits on screen. So you can see Royal Ravens lost 3-0 to, or Subliners lost 3-0 to the Ravens back at the Seattle home series. Most recently though, they 3-1 ones them. These are kind of the last two times these teams have played. One thing to mention here is that, um, as I'm saying, a lot of these series seem to have Game 5 on the cards, in my opinion. When is the last time Subliners won a Game 5? There's not a victory in a Game 5 fashion on this sheet, let's just put it that way. It's only in 3-1s or 3-0s. I mean, they go to Game 5 against Huntsman, they lose. Go to Game 5 against Huntsman again at their own home series, they lose. Um, you know, Florida Mutineers, they've lost two phase, they've lost two like three times this season in a Game 5 fashion. So, um, yeah, Subliners in Game 5 is questionable. Then again, Royal Ravens also in a game five is questionable but um it's going to be an interesting series to see if we do see an arc of peak search and destroy i imagine london take that one it's just i'm not very confident right now and for good reason to be honest in london's uh, domination right and subliners are relatively decent in domination you know scraps was talking in an interview yesterday how when they get hack in the yard dom they just kind of chalk it up because they know it's over um and you know that's just not really the sign i want to be seeing i think that if it does go game five i actually kind of favor ravens in this one even though their clutch factor is questionable just because subliners can't seem to win a game five um at least late However, if it's just respawns and, uh, well, subliners do win the domination as I expect, I can certainly see them closing this out in something like a 3-1. And London, um, I mean, a couple of times they've just failed to get to that game five. One of them was against the Ultra and, well, I mean, obviously a difficult situation there with the lag out situation that happened with Zero. That being said, I think I'm just about going to favour the subliners in a 3-1. It's a close one. If it goes game five, probably the Ravens. But on the balance of things, I think subliners are maybe a 55% favourite for me here. Tough to say, but um, yeah, I just think they're a solid team and they'll just about get the job done in this one. Then we've got the second series, that being Mutineers OGLA. And this is honestly really exciting, I think, because Optic Gaming Los Angeles looks so much better than they did before. As you can see on screen, the last two times these guys played was at the London Home Series. OGLA lost both times, but this is when they just made this roster change and bringing in Draza and Hollow to the team. They lost 3-2 first of all. I remember it was a map 5 Piccadilly. Then they lost 3-1 the second time around they played and Mutineers made it out of the group before then falling to the Dallas Empire. And to be honest, like lately, Mutineers 
Engineers haven't had the best run. They just lost to the Ultra. I mean, um, they lost three times to the Dallas Empire right here. They lost to Ravens. Certainly, they could lose to OGLA now, right? And probably OGLA are looking back on these VODs pretty heavily. Also, you've got to consider, Kenny looks a much different player on this new Texas host that he's playing on. Like, he's moved to the Complexity Headquarters or whatever. I mean, like, Kenny at Champs, Slasher at Champs. It's probably a different team. And the kind of performances they were putting up yesterday against the Minnesota Rocker was very impressive, especially after that map one. They really capitalized off that and brought the momentum into the rest of the series. And to be honest, they kind of beat LAG like 5-0, you could say, given the uh, the Langout situation. You could argue that they would have won those hard points as well. So look, Ojale definitely looked better than they did when they last played them. They've obviously had more repetitions with this squad. And Mutineers, if anything, have kind of fallen off. Like if there's one upset I'm going to pick on the day, I think it's going to be this one. Like I actually feel like Ojale can do a number on Mutineers here, just because when we've seen in the past, Mutineers have had like a really good couple of runs. Like they won the grand final here against Dallas. They go to their next tournament to their own home series and they got double three O's. Now I'm not saying that's going to happen here, but it's just a couple of times this season we've seen that the Mutineers have a really good run and then they get to, well, they yeah, obviously, as you can see right here, they win a load of series in a row. They have a great couple of results. They win a couple of events in a row and then all of a sudden they drop off dramatically and uh, can't get anything done. And I'm not exactly sure why that is, but it happened earlier this season. I wouldn't be overwhelmingly surprised if it happens again. And having already lost one series here against the Ultra makes me feel like that, um, well, certainly a defeat to Ojale is on the cards. If it happens, I think it's a game five. But um, yeah, I kind of fancy Ojale to get the job done here and move on in the tournament. That's just my take. Maybe I'll be completely wrong. Then we've got Ultra play the winner of New York or London. If they play London, of course, it's a crazy rematch, right? Given that uh, London lost first time with the zero lag out in map four and they could have gone game five. It was their pick map five in the search and destroy. That definitely could have gone a different way. I picked subliners though, so let's just go with that storyline for now. As you can see right here, Ultra haven't played subliners that recently. Well, actually at the New York home series, they got bopped 3-0, bopped by them in the, in the semi-finals here. But since then, Ultra have had a very good run of things, winning all their series up until the one they lost to Dallas yesterday in that three to fashion. Um, but yeah, you do kind of have to look at this and think, well, they had a really good run, but clearly subliners seem to have their number somehow, right? Like they lost 3-1 at the Paris home series. They lost 3-0 at the New York home series. That just makes me think that subliners have something over the ultra that uh, makes them a tough team to beat. And honestly, yesterday watching that series against Dallas, the slaying power was there for the ultra at times, but then it kind of just like fell by the wayside those last couple of maps. So um, it just seems like ultra have an incredible clutch factor, which subliners probably don't. But in terms of raw slaying, it feels like subliners are going to be more consistent in the numbers they're putting up on the map. And um, yeah, we did kind of see that fall off a bit for the Ultra yesterday. Didn't work out to their favor. Then again, Dallas are a great team. But just looking at these results here and seeing what the subliners have done against them before. Um, yeah, it does make me think the subliners should be favorites in this one to take it. So um, yeah, Ultra I'm having going out of the tournament. And then of course, we have the final series of the night. That being the Huntsman versus the winner of Florida or up to gaming Los Angeles. Could go either way. Of course, that first series I predicted it to go to a game five. Let's just run with this Opta Gaming Los Angeles prediction though even though you could look at the Mutineers as well because this of course is the, the Huntsman's result most recently we've seen against the Mutineers Chicago definitely do not have their number to be honest I mean we see they lost 3-2 at the Minnesota home series lost 3-1 back at the Dallas home series a while ago as well so um, yeah a couple of poor results really for the Chicago Huntsman against the Florida Mutineers of you know the last few months and to be honest either team they play isn't looking great because at the Toronto home series the uh, the Chicago Huntsman fell out of the tournament losing to Opta Gaming Los Angeles and that was an OGLA without Kenny dropping 1.4s or whatever. So we'll have to see how this goes. Um, either way, I don't think it's ideal for the Hunts, but I don't think they're going to have a clean run here to the top four. If they don't make top four, of course, that'd be a pretty tragic result for the organization, right? You've got all these players, you've got all this firepower, you've got Skump going off, you've got Formal going off, as they were earlier in this tournament, still going down to the losers bracket. And if they don't make it top four, I mean, like that, that's going to be, um, that's a disaster to be honest. But I don't think they're going to have an easy time of things. I do think they're going to get it done. Um, whether that's in a game five fashion, I imagine it is quite frankly because uh, well either one they play versus Mutineers versus OGLA I think both these teams are easily capable of taking maps off the Huntsman but when it comes down to clutch time Huntsman have been very good in their game fires I mean they lost the one yesterday against Atlanta phase but you know who's beating Atlanta phase in the game fire let's put it that way and um, yeah Huntsman have been good in their round 11s they've been good in their clutch factor and I think they can just about get over the line here to um to take it against Florida or OGLA whoever they play I'm gonna say they're gonna be OGLA in a game five OGLA drop out and uh, well Chicago Huntsman move 
move on to play the New York Subliners in a rematch is going to be my prediction, as you can see the bracket on here. So this is how it would go, in my opinion. Ojale win, Chicago Huntsman win that one, and then New York make the loser's bracket run to rematch next weekend. The winner of that plays the loser of Atlanta Phase versus Dallas Empire, and then the winner of that goes on to rematch Atlanta Phase or the Dallas Empire in the Grand Finals with a 1-0 series disadvantage in that best of an eye if you're not too exactly familiar with how this tournament structure is being run. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you did, subscribe if you're new as always. I would greatly appreciate it. Intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Chicago are just about to make it? That's probably the big storyline of the day. If they can make it into the loser's bracket and well, make it through the loser's bracket, they definitely have the potential. They've done things like this. The players have done things like this in the past. It's going to be a tough road and it starts with a difficult series, I think, against Florida or Ojale, which they don't have great results against recently. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Objectives. Stay concerned. Yeah. Specialist achieved. 